you guys are getting ready to go on a on a on a pretty special ride. Yes, sir. We are uh, actually is it is special because we for two years we couldn't ride because of COVID, obviously. Right. Um, so this is our first year back doing the full ride, the Road to Hope, uh, uh, the Law Enforcement United Road to Hope uh, bicycle ride, which is uh, our our signature uh, fundraising event where we do a three-day bike ride from Chesapeake, Virginia to Washington, D.C., um, again, over three days. So uh, we're excited to be back on the road and, and getting back to a normal business. And that that ride i mean you're, you're remembering lost officers yep the whole uh, purpose of of the ride is to uh honor the fallen and remember their uh, surviving family members um so we raise money throughout the year um, each rider has to raise fifteen hundred dollars and each support staff has to raise eight hundred uh dollars um, to participate in the ride and um, all the money is uh, donated directly to uh, three organizations which supports the uh, family members of these uh, fallen heroes that died in the line of duty. And those uh, organizations are Concerns of Police Survivors, uh, Officer Down Memorial Page, and Spirit of Blue Foundation. Well, it must be an emotional kind of thing um, because you're doing it for, I mean, and you know people, I mean, there's, there's, there are, there are names on this monument of, of city officers. Absolutely. And that's how, that's how we initially got involved. Obviously, uh, when we lost uh, Todd in 2008, um, his squad um, immediately joined uh, what at the time was police unity tour. Yeah. Um, and they do the same thing. They arrived from Chesapeake to uh, uh, Washington, D.C. over three days. Um, but they support uh, a different different organizations. And then in uh, 2009, uh, Law Enforcement United actually started, and it's fully uh, volunteer-based. No one makes any money, and uh, that was the main mission of Law Enforcement United because uh, they wanted to be a uh, totally support these these uh, the families of these fallen heroes. Um, so that's how we started. Um, obviously. Um, we had the unfortunate death of uh, Todd Barr, um, and ever since we've been a part of uh, Law Enforcement United in 2009, and uh, we very much so enjoy it. I personally uh, enjoy the ride, and uh, you've done it a few times. I've done it. This is be, this will be my 13th year, so um, it's tough. Um, it is not easy for me, um, uh, but like you said, the emotional part of it um, when you get to DC and you actually present yeah. the family members. Of, that, of those fallen heroes with a flag of their uh, loved one with the end of watch on there and we also give them a bracelet and uh, that is what makes it all worthwhile um, like you said that emotional uh, connection at that point it, and it, it, it goes on forever you, you, you keep contact with these families for, forever um, so it's, it's, it's wonderful yeah I, I don't think any of us really understand I, I, I certainly do I, I remember when Officer Barr I remember the, the Friday night it happened and just how that next day there was just just such shock and, oh, yeah. and those of you who work with and I, just think, I don't think we understand what it's like when that happens oh you, you know you can't prepare for it obviously um you talk about it uh you try not to think about it when you go out and do your job but like you said um that the, the night it, it occurred um it it kind of is in and in, in, uh, etched in our brains forever yeah. for the people that were here and uh, we do a good job the people who are hired we talk about it and we actually take them to the site and we actually uh, take them to uh, the um, cemetery where uh, uh, Todd's remains are, and we talk about it. So um, that hopefully they never have to experience that, and hopefully no one one day never have to experience right. that. But unfortunately, it is a part of uh, what we do and the uh, dangers of the job. Um, but, yeah, it, it's it's something that, that we'll never forget. And uh, that's, that's the goal of Law Enforcement United, to never forget you know the sacrifice that these 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 heroes made. So you guys make the ride, and it's it's terrific, and it's, it's sufficient as you've described it. But there's there's a way we can all get involved and, and help with what uh, you guys are doing. Absolutely, and uh, to be honest, our community has been great ever since we began Law Enforcement United. All of our money that we raise comes from our community. Uh, we do fundraisers throughout the year, and the community just comes out and support. Uh, but every year um, before we do the ride, we um, you know, reach out to our community again um, because the, our community is great and uh, we just solicit uh, donations of water, Gatorade, 
uh, power bars, pickles, uh, potatoes, uh, any anything that can keep us uh, that give we can energy. eat. Yeah, yeah, to give us energy to carve up uh, doing a ride because, as you can imagine, uh, we we um, use a lot of. Uh, uh, energy throughout the day um, riding. Um, the first day is uh, uh, just over 100 miles that we ride, and then the second day is just over 60, and the third day is uh, just under 50, I believe. Um, but the third day, each day has its challenges. Uh, a lot of hills. Sure. A lot of hills as you go on. So day one is pretty flat. Day two, we start to experience a little bit of hills, and then day three is this you're climbing into D.C. and it's nothing but hills. So, um, like I said, as you can imagine, we drink a lot of water, a lot of Gatorade to uh, stay hydrated so we don't cramp. Um, and then things, uh, salty things that can, you know, keep us keep us to retain that water. So, like I said, potatoes and pickles and we drink pickle juice. Um, but, like I said, we've, we've been fortunate to have some good, good donors. Uh, 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 give a shout out to uh, Giant Food over in uh, Eagle Village. They donated a thousand dollars worth of gift cards to us already. Mm. Wegmans in Central Park has donated a thousand dollars of the gift cards, um, and then the community has already started responding by bringing things in, um, um, water, Gatorade, and uh, pickles and things of that nature. So we appreciate it. It's right in the front door, and you can just drop by, just buy the stuff, drop it off, and just just take it and and, and, and leave it there. I guess. Absolutely, yeah. Just uh, bring it down to either the Fredericksburg Police Department. At 2200 Cowan Boulevard or downtown um, Monday through Friday um, normal business hours to the courthouse uh, the okay. main courthouse downtown Fredericksburg on Princess Anne Street they uh, accept donations also um, another cool thing what people did this year that we never experienced before is people have been doing the Amazon thing where they will send a gift via oh, Amazon. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen that before, but uh, we've gotten a few boxes from Amazon, uh, uh, <laughs> people just utilizing the Amazon uh, delivery and, and it's, it's, it comes as a, as, as a gift. So yeah. for people out there who've done that, we appreciate it. And uh, that's obviously another way that you can you can uh, contribute. This is, this is because a lot of us look at this and just think, what a great thing. But when you're going, if you're at the store, you know, get a little bit of this drop it off and you know you, we can all feel like we're part of this we're helping you out absolutely yeah if, like i said if you're in a store um between now and and next saturday you know grab a extra case of water or a gatorade or um power bars or whatever um uh, we'll take it we'll uh, it, it'll be eaten for sure but that you know all that stuff we we eat it um we tear it up uh to stay <laughs> fueled up but yeah if you're at the store this weekend or next week yeah pick it up drop it off we would be very appreciative of your donation and uh, it's, it's definitely going towards a, a great cause, and um, we, we, we would um, appreciate it. What, the ride starts on May the... It starts on May 10th. We go down on May 9th okay, to so Chesapeake, and then May 10th is wheels up, and then we'll be in the Fredericksburg uh, region, uh, making traffic even worse, uh, just for a short period of time. Just a short time. Just a short period of time, but, and for a good cause. Uh, but we'll be in Fredericksburg region on the 11th um, between uh, 2 and about 5 is when we get to the hotels in Stafford. But we have three stops um, within Fredericksburg. Um, one is at a church, I want to say Riverside Church in Thornburg. And then the Rappahannock Regional Criminal Justice Academy, which will be there about uh, between 2.45 and 3 o'clock. Okay. And then Stafford County Sheriff's Office is uh, a stop just before we get to the hotels on uh, Route 610. Okay. Nothing's too small. Um, again, it's, it's about 300 uh, riders and support people that will be partaking in this, this ride. So it's a lot of people to, to get uh, fed and uh, keep hydrated yeah. throughout, the, uh, throughout those three days. So any donation uh, is greatly appreciated.